welcome back to another Mukbang Monday. It's your favorite dinner with Duo B Mars and Shanti, and we're eating something extra special today, which is sushi. This place is extra special though. This is all vegan sushi, and they have vegan crab, vegan tuna, vegan shrimp. They have literally anything you could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. We got a full spread of things because we were just so excited. Uh huh. Um, oh. I should have grabbed the receipt because I don't remember like the names of them. So if you watch my personal channel videos, I mentioned that I wanted to go here, but there was like a really long wait. And so this is this is, in your four course meal challenge? Yeah, I, I just saw you uploaded that. I, I watched tried it yet. to go here. Yeah, it's okay. I will though. But yeah, I tried to go here and um, they I'm were not having it. They were booked. It's hard to tell. <laughs> we don't even know what we got. <laughs> well, I know that one of these is an imposter. <laughs> okay, we definitely got like something that was like the dragon roll. Yeah, we got the volcano and dragon. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we got the volcano roll, which is fried California roll on bottom, spicy tuna on top with fried broccoli. I this is I think this is fried broccoli. Yeah, right that looks like the picture. Yeah, so I think that is the volcano roll. Mm -hmm. And then this one that's the black is the black dragon roll. roll, which is eggplant and avocado on top, shrimp, cucumber, and spicy sauce inside. I hate on the phone when I do that. Do you do that? I do yes. that all the time. The iPhone is so sensitive now that like I'll be scrolling and then I just go slightly to the side and just like swipe, erase everything, and I'm like, okay, we gotta scroll all the way down. Um, but before we get into this video, hi, if you're new, we are Mukbang Monday. We post videos every Monday, and they're always a fun Mukbang where we chit chat and have a grand old time. Mm -hmm. So if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and you never miss an upload. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. I stuttered. And then you never <laughs> miss an upload. I was gonna say, also hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload, and then I just went, me, 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 me. <laughs> like, what, what happened? I feel like you turned into like an 85 year old man. <laughs> and, then and then I just like literally had amnesia. Um. Anyway, <laughs> we're back. Make sure you give this video a big ol' thumbs up. And thank you to our patrons who support our Patreon page. If you guys wanna go check it out, we will link it down below. Mm -hmm. We post some extra videos over there if you want to help support our page and get, get some, some extra content. Yeah, some free clips. Mm -hmm. Well, not free, but get some extra clips. Well, they're not free. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point of Patreon. But, okay, I'm so excited. Should we dig on in? Yes. This, as excited as we are for, for this place, I brought these, but I didn't realize they gave us little black uh, things. Yeah. But. Well, this is the, uh, we got some wasabi and pickle ginger. Um, so this place is funny because ginger. I was like, if you just ate a wab of wasabi, I will judge you. There was a wab of wasabi stuck to the side of the ginger, though. Regrets. Yeah, I don't like ginger. Um, so the only thing that sucks about this place, well, maybe the food. I haven't tried it yet, <laughs> but is like it's popping. A when Chantal called. You should tell that story. It was like a whole thing. But even this, we called. I called at like five when I got home from an audition. She's like, it's going to be an hour. And I was like, okay. So I told Chantal to come over. And then we like talked for an hour and we're like, oh, shoot, we should order the food. Yeah. And then we called again. She's like, it's going to be an hour. And I'm like, does it ever stop for you guys? Or, yeah. But it was actually popping when we walked up. It was super popping. They have like three tables outside and then like a bunch of people waiting for their food to pick up food. Yeah. So we've tried this. They used to sell ramen at this place, mm -hmm. and we've ordered the ramen. I don't know if we filmed the mukbang. No, there. we did. Yeah, I think we did, right? I think it was, it was like, like two years ago. I think it was on. It's on one of our personal channels. It oh. was like before we made the mukbang. Made the mukbang. It's so funny. I remember we had like such a big discussion about like if we should make a separate channel for mukbang. Cause you're no, like, let's just keep doing them individually. <laughs> no, because we would post them. And you're like, well, we should drive like viewers to our channels. And I was like, yeah, but like niche audiences want their own stuff, and it was. It took us like. Months to months. decide, yeah. yeah. And we finally did and it. And here we are. Now you guys don't even watch our personal channels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're laughing because we're sad. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, I got a lot of views um, for my Instacart videos. Yeah, those are popping. Those are very, like, um, good with the times because I feel like it's such a popular thing right now because of... The corona. Yeah, the pandemic. The panoramic. The panty. My favorite thing about TikTok is when people post party stuff and like all the comments are like, not in the middle of a parallelogram, <laughs> yeah. not in the middle of a panorama. <laughs> the panic at the disco. Yeah, I think those are so funny. I don't know why. I just very intensely dissolved the wasabi into my soy sauce. I know, I'm if like, you, if you couldn't tell what we were doing over here, that's what we oh, were yeah. doing. 
I like a little sob. Okay, I want to try them together with you so we can okay. have the same experiences. Definitely. Sorry to control your experience, but <sighs> what do you want to try first? Let's try this one. That's the Ugh. volcano. Or should we start slow? We'll start slow. We'll by going small? Yeah. Okay. So this, I, I honestly think this is a tuna. Spicy tuna? I think it's spicy tuna. Yeah. It looks more like that than California roll to me. Yeah, because California has cream cheese, right? Yeah. Well, it has like more of a pinky, but again, it, I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. Don't be strange. Oh, no, it's all right. I tried it. I tried it. I will punch you on the drop. And cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. The flavor is amazing. It's so good. Oh, it's spicy. I like that. Oh, I don't think I chewed that enough. Swallowed it like a big old hole. You're already done. <laughs> I literally didn't chew because I was excited how good it was. Oh my god, the flavor is so good. Oh wow, that's really what spicy is that? like the after. Yeah, right? I feel the after like... It's that's definitely like the girl. spicy tuna because I don't think the California roll is supposed to be spicy. Mm -mm. That is so good though. It's Whatever so good. they are... What they make it out of. It's better than, okay, controversial, but I like it better than regular spicy tuna. Really? It's way more flavorful. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna have to take Marilyn here. She's obsessed with sushi. It'll take you four hours. <laughs> we'll, we'll plan three days in advance, but, yeah. oh my God, you have to tell that story. Uh, do, I don't want to share the place. Now let's try another one. Okay. We're not really sure what this one is though. I think this one, yeah, I have no idea. But the story's kind of funny. I guess you tell it in your personal. Yeah. It, the story is that I tried to order here and it took like three hours. See, look, this, okay, I stuck my finger in it. See how this meat looks different? Mm-hmm. Was there a crunchy California roll? I don't know. Because maybe she misheard me. I mean, you went over it multiple times together, but. Yeah, well. <laughs> when I came in, I was like, it's for Brittany. She was like, Yelp. I was like, no, <laughs> please. The, I think they get their, um, they're very busy over there. Tempura vegan California roll? <clears throat> Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's probably what it is. Because it has cream cheese in it. Yeah. This one looks more like a California roll. So this is a California roll, but fried. Fried. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mmm. Oh my god. I am so impressed. Wow. I can see why the weight. <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna spit up. I was trying to say, Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Because it was so good, but it's such a big piece of sushi. So you had to embody it. I had to speak sign language. <laughs> I mean, also, Chantal brought us um, kombucha beers. Uh huh. They're very good. Mine. Could you read? Wow, two out of two. Very impressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the dragon roll. I feel like I should pull it from the front so it looks like you guys are eating. I wonder, like, mm. if more people order sushi or ramen from there. Like, what is their biggest seller? I don't know because when we ordered the ramen, sushi was not on the menu, so I wonder. Yeah, it it's a new addition. So this one has the eggplant on it. But this sushi is way better than their ramen. It's supposed to be avocado and egg roll on top. and Oh, then... it's the dragon roll. Mm -hmm. And then shrimp, cucumber, and spicy sauce inside. Oh, oh, so that's the shrimp over here. I was like, what is this white stuff? Oh, interesting. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that's so good. Oh. That's really good. It's so good. It tastes similar to this one, but this one's fried. I need to see my food. I wonder what the shrimp is. It looks like... I mean, it could be like the one we ordered. But it just tastes better because it's with like... Like crumbled down? And it's with stuff like it should be with, not like raw. <laughs> wow, that was good. Which one do you like best? Hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't like this one best. You do? But I don't know if it's just because I was so surprised at how flavor it was like. It was a mouthful. It was a flavor. moment in my mouth. 
Okay, last but not least. This is, which one is this? The volcano roll. This is the volcano. This one, this one I was like most excited, excited for. That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, so this is like these two combined. This is a fried California roll on the bottom and then the spicy tuna on top. This looks, I can't even tell what With is a piece. With fried broccoli. What is going on here? This is crazy. Oh, so this is fried broccoli. Oh. I thought it was going to be on the inside, but they yeah. just like put it on top. That's cute. I'm going to go for this end piece. Oh. How tragic would that have been? If we just knocked it all over. Yeah. Oh, can you see the inside? That looks good. Ugh. I'll do a little zoom in moment. For the Instagram, follow us on Instagram, mukbang.monday. Yeah, I definitely gotta do a zoom in. Okay, cheers, cheers. to the last one. I just this literally put the whole thing in my mouth. I don't have, I like, when I put it all in my mouth, then I'm like, how will I now take a bite? My mouth is completely full. Yeah. But I also have a very small head, so maybe my mouth space is Smaller? Yeah. They told me that when I got my wisdom teeth out. Really? I have a huge mouth. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Compare mouth sizes. Like, uh. okay. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. This is so good. I never want to order sushi anywhere else. I know, right? I'm gonna order from here every day. It's so good. And like, I always get scared with regular sushi because it's raw. So now it like takes away that like. Am I gonna get poisoned factor? Yeah. Yeah, this is so good. I can see why it is popping. Yeah. Maybe if the sushi is new, like once they get into the groove of making it, it'll, it won't be so long of waits. Yeah. Cause it's really good. I don't, I honestly don't know of any other like vegan sushi places in LA. Cause like you can order vegan sushi, but it'd just be like a vegetable roll. Wow. Or like an avocado roll. Why can't broccoli always be fried? Oh, I didn't try it. Yeah, it's so much more interesting this way. Mmm. Wow. Honestly, more sushi places should get this because they probably just have more customers. When I was in New York, they had this place called Beyond Sushi. And that was like, eight years ago, but it was like super healthy. Like they had like black rice and hmm. I don't know, it was super healthy, but like this, I've never had something like this before. This like is so fried good. crab and like cream cheese roll. It's like naughty sushi. It's so good. I'm gonna take it over here. Uh, e. Wow. I really like it. I'm like sad I like it because I'm like, oh, it's, it's pretty good. So. It's gonna order it a lot. I know. I take all my money. I definitely want to order it. It's oh, definitely not it. cheap. Oh yeah, these are pretty expensive. These are like 15 bucks each. But I feel like sushi isn't cheap either, like regular. Yeah. You know? Real sushi. Real sushi. But like a, a vegan roll is typically like five bucks. Yeah, but, but it's like a cucumber roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. No. Oh my god. Mmm. Too. Unbelievable. Good choice. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad that they um didn't have like a three hour wait. <laughs> I feel like somebody commented this, right? That they wanted sushi again? Yeah. We haven't been sushi in a while. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been really cold in LA and I feel bad saying that because Texas is literally in the snow. Mm -hmm. But LA has been really cold. I took Jax to the dock park the other day I had a sweater on and my winter jacket and I was still like <laughs> But I feel like the last six years I've lived in LA I have not experienced that So usually weird. it's rainy in like January, February. It hasn't yeah. rained. No I don't have any plants in this year That one's really spicy. Mm -hmm. Like it's more spicy than that one Can I try it again? Yeah Hi what? Oh my god, my cat is going through a midlife crisis. What? Well, not a midlife crisis because he's going to live till 100 years old, but... <laughs> a quarter. I don't know if it's... Is this interesting? Should I talk about it? Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's ever since I got Jax. Have you noticed? I don't know. He... Cairo has been so weird or just like... It's weird because we got Jax and also COVID happened at the same time, so it might be a mixture of just being home all the time and now I feel like Cairo has developed... <clears throat> Separation anxiety? Yes. Um, I was like clinkiness, but I've heard of other people saying that on like, TikTok too. 
Cairo was never, um, <coughs> I feel like our faces are blurry. There we go. <laughs> never liked that before and now I like went to an audition day and I came back and Cairo was like on my chest and I was like, ah! and I was like, hi, like, and now I was telling Chantal, he'll circle me when I'm at my desk. He'll like jump on my lap, jump off, jump on the ledge, jump on the table, skate across it, ruin all my notebooks and papers, <laughs> then come back, look at me and I'm like, sit on my lap. And then he jumps on the lap and then he's like, no. And then he just does it like a cycle over and over again. And like Chantal came over and he did the same thing to her. He was just like staring at her. Yeah, he was staring at me and I was like, oh, you wanna sit on my lap? And then he'd like just jump circles around me. Yeah, and before he was, like Cairo's always been a super cuddly cat. Yeah, like, he just wants an open lap. Yeah, so I don't know why he hasn't been just like making the decision to sit. Like something has happened. I don't Maybe he wants know. to play more. And I think he might be like jealous of Jax and like that attention maybe. Like, mm. I don't know, he can't tell me. So I've been trying to like really laser pointer him before we go to bed and whatever. He's just been really bad. Last night he maybe chewed he my Harry Potter his... book like a fucking dog. Like there's holes in it now and it's limited edition. So oh I'm pretty God. sad. Like literally there was like cat holes. And then he like knocked over, I was doing my script before, knocked it off and then I, it was like pissed, so I kicked him out of the room. He meowed outside the door, so I let him back in. And then I wake up at 7 a.m. to him going like this. <laughs> like on my literal I phone. He's staring at you. What? I'm talking about you. Look. He's definitely been super, I feel like usually I come over and he's just like sleeping. Yeah. He's been super active. Maybe he just like wants to play. Ooh, what is that? Cats love sticks. Oh my god. Okay, well, this is her <laughs> stick, not yours. <laughs> He's like, it's gonna smell like cat breath. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Is anyone else having. See, look, and he sprints away and he's like, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's happening? If anyone else is having weird experiences with their animals, let me I've know. I've seen in the other people saying their, their animals have separation anxiety now. Yeah, like, I've just never really heard about it in cats. Like, cats are pretty in, in, independent, but. Cairo has always been cuddly, so I don't know. I don't know. Can we take a silent bite? Yeah. And so just one crispy bite. You know what's annoying though? What? If Cairo just laid in the bed with Jax. And cuddle him. And cuddle him. They would be best friends. I know, right? They could be playmates, but he just has to make that decision. This could be us, but you're playing. Oh, that doesn't really crunch time. Do whatever you're feeling. This could be us, but you're playing. <laughs> God, I can't put this in my mouth. That's what he said. She said, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Cheers. I'm learning. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't see. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't see my mouth. It's so big. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even chew because there's so much food in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I have to like use my tongue to like break off pieces of it. When you watch that back, I bite into it and then it like shoots out of my lips. It's really disgusting. I'll zoom in. <laughs> it was so gross. Oh my god. That was so hard to eat. That was a struggle. <clears throat> we tried to do like a bite in unison for our Instagram. I don't know if you're gonna cut that out before this and it didn't work. That's gonna die. Yeah. But then you're not supposed to cut sushi because like the flavors are supposed to go together. Uh huh. But like that was the biggest. How place. am I gonna do that? <laughs> like Physically, it's not possible. There literally wasn't any more room in my mouth, so it was like I think it was like, my literal, like orange, like it was like <laughs> bubbling over. That was, it was so, so gross. Disgusting. So good. Best to see. Hands down. <laughs> We're really trying to sell it. Honestly, it's so good though. I know. Look, I'm like shocked. I'm gonna get this every day. You know what we were gonna talk about today and we forgot? 
The Britney Spears conspiracy theory. Yes. And the, did you see the, um, what's it called? Cecil Hotel? Yeah, did you watch that? Yes, I did. Did, did you, you watch, watch it? I got way too scared and I couldn't watch the last Oh, I watched it all. Episode. I was so scared. And especially because well, I already knew about it. But uh, I actually thought me. something else happened in the end, which shows how much crazy, like, rumors. Yeah. Dude, like, well, Shane did a, um, one of these in his, uh, like, conspiracy videos. Oh, really? On the Cecil? Do you remember that? That was no. a while ago. I don't, I don't, no, I don't. It's weird because so that, oh god, I forgot that we forgot about that. <sighs> we were so into the sushi, we talked about that for like four hours. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get like a little bit more. Should we talk about, <clears throat> well, yeah. I guess let's talk about Brittany because if you didn't finish Cecil, but I worked. Well, I know what happens in Cecil. Oh, you do? So that's why I was like, I don't need to watch it because I already know what the end result is. Well, I, I feel like people comment that they want us to like look up like conspiracy theory stuff after I talked about JonBenet Ramsey, like. I was a freaking detective. Mm. Which, that was a while ago. Um, we talked about that. Still not sure about that case. But There's a Jambade new um, docu series out, I think, isn't there? Um, where? It's on Discovery. I'm over all the streaming platforms. I like, know. how many do you need me to buy? <sighs> Sorry, that got really angry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just driving me freaking nuts. I already have like Disney Plus, Hulu, Netflix, HBO Max. Um, Stars, like, I can't, okay. What should we talk about? Let's well, see, so Brittany, I don't have much to say about either, so do we just wanna combine them together? Yeah, we can do that. Brittany, I feel like I had a lot to say when I first watched it, but now it's been like two weeks for me. Basically, what the, the part that stood out to me the most with Brittany was the guy who worked for OK Magazine and the guy who, or one, Stars Magazine or whatever, one of those shitty- The pop Razzie? Yeah. No, the paparazzi guy and the guy who worked for the magazine, how they justified ruining her life to make themselves feel like it was okay. Yeah. The guy, like, the guy was like, she wanted it. Like, she was happy we were there. I was like, oh, she yeah. tried to hit you with an umbrella, dude. She was like, it was a good communal relationship. Yeah, I was like, maybe said. in the beginning when she was, like, on the rise, sure, I could see that. Like, you want the paparazzi to, like, give you some clout, whatever. But not when you're having a mental breakdown and, like, struggling oh to like win custody of your children they were relentless they were in that picture like that they probably got 1 million views i remember seeing that like her shaved the umbrella like oh yeah same it's disgusting and i remember thinking like i never was a thought like oh britney's like going crazy i was like she's gonna kill herself really like i always i was thinking that i was like she is mentally not stable like this is not okay and honestly like Watching that back, I think they said it in the documentary that she might have been suffering from postpartum depression. Mm. My mom suffered from postpartum depression really badly, and like my dad had to be like the one to like kind of figure it out because she didn't even realize. Mm. You know what I mean? And then she like got help and whatever. So it's like I can't even imagine it if you're in the public eye and then you break up with your person and then you're just alone and then you're depressed. Like that would I know right? kill anybody. Yeah, the stuff that she went to, through, I was telling Colin, I was like, what, is it even worth, like, the fame and all the, like, success, Money like, having whatever. that quality of life would literally suck. Like, I felt so bad for her. She can't even, she doesn't have any privacy. Anytime she goes out, she is literally bombarded. She, like, that is just such a terrible quality of life. There's like. one she was, like, eating by herself, and she was just, like, shaking her head. Like, she was like, I can't even. I know, I feel so food. bad for her. And I, I was like, I remember also thinking, like, it's crazy to me that, like, Brittany doesn't even brush her hair. And I'm like, why would she? She would have to get ready every second of every day. She couldn't have a moment to just, like, go to the grocery store in her sweatpants, which I do all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not fair of me to, like, have thought that, like, in the past. The only good thing that I can think of now is I don't think we'll ever have somebody like Britney again because we have the internet. Mm. And now so many people are famous or celebrities. Yeah, there really isn't like celebrities anymore. It's more like TikTok stars. Yeah, like whatever. I think like the closest thing to that now would be maybe like Ariana Grande. Yeah. She's huge and like probably can't go anywhere. But all of the world's focus isn't on Ariana Grande. Because yeah. somebody might be obsessed with like James Charles or some random makeup YouTuber who just does shit in his fucking room. Yeah, isn't but it? like there wasn't anything like that in the '90s. Like uh -huh. it we was were obsessed with Britney, and then our parents were obsessed with Britney. Like it was just like what. You but you know what I mean. So now I'm hoping that 
society can't do that to a person again because our attention isn't like yeah so pinpointed on this one person i always thought that was crazy how like celebrities aren't like as cool like you see someone in a movie and you're like oh or maybe this is just an la thing but you're like oh that person's in that movie but like you see like a youtuber and you're like oh my god it's fuck so and so emma chamberlain or yeah. whoever like it's crazy how youtubers are just like ran normal people and then they like become famous but it's weird because like you think that like you're like wow that's Emma Chamberlain but like if my mom saw her she'd be like that's a little teenage girl yeah like you know we're like everyone knew who Britney was yeah everyone like it's just such a different level of fame that I don't think will ever exist again yes that it's like uncomprehendable definitely and we f her up I know I feel so bad for her I feel so bad no wonder why like she is the way she is now her Instagram like she is she controlling her Instagram I, I don't, don't think, think so. I don't think so either. I think someone is posting for her. Did you see the TikTok where the hairdresser, I think we talked about yes. this. And there's she a was hairdresser a that was like, like didn't say who it was, but she was like, this girl's talk, like has a toxic, she always like implies who the celebrity she's talking about is, like their captions. Oh, I haven't seen any of her earlier TikToks. I've seen other I've ones, seen a couple ones, but I forgot, what did she say? Um, she said that she was cutting this unnamed celebrity's hair and the celebrity was like Kept asking to see her phone because her phone was dead and she was like asking her to um, like Hang out and be hang friends. Out. Yeah. yeah, like really like in insisting and then Her like manager or whoever came up to them and was like, oh, she's not allowed to like have phones You can't give her your phone Dude, someone needs to like, like I don't really drop kick her remember. dad I know, right? What a sleaze ball. What I don't understand, I'm sure a lot of other people think this too, but like, okay, if she's so like mentally incapable of- Incompetent. Yeah, of surviving on her own, how was she able to perform all these shows? Yeah, and she was making a million dollars a week or whatever for- I think it was like a day or something. Or yeah, maybe a day for Planet Hollywood. I was like, then she deserves to take her Millie and do whatever she wants with she's it. She's clearly capable. She's literally working It's like they they use her as like a- Cash cow. Yeah, it's really disgusting. And it's crazy that it's, ha it's happening. Even like, what was that? Like two years ago that she like decided that she just walked off during the hotel, the other hotel that she was changing to. Cause I remember me and Max saw the Britney show oh, right yeah. before it closed? it closed. We saw it in 2017. He took me for my birthday. Was it amazing? It was amazing because it was like nostalgic and like I cried and I mean, I loved Britney. Like, yeah, I remember distinctly like when the Spice Girls broke up and like I was devastated, like fourth grade, life ruined, whatever. And then my dad bought me the Britney CD for Christmas and he was like, this is the new Spice Girls. Like she's <gasps> it. And I was like, oh my God, no, that's she's that's not. <laughs> and then I like listened to it and I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. Like, like I just, I don't know. So, it's so weird. Anyway, I hope she gets her money back. I hope her dad dies of a heart attack. No, that's really me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I hope she, I don't know, gets freed. I know, but it's crazy because then it also makes me think like, what is in that court document that keeps making these judges say that she can't control her estate? Oh yeah. The there must be something, that one document he was saying that mm -hmm. like no one can see that like really has it out for her. like she has dementia or yeah. bipolar disorder but then again she shouldn't be forced to do any shows or whatever like exactly it's such a weird conundrum i don't really remember anything else in detail yeah let's look at it we watched it like a week ago oh a lot of people are hating on justin Be bieber <laughs> justin timberlake oh yeah that was up. super messed up but not trying to make excuses for him because he should apologize which he did but he was like 22 and the 90s were different like i know that's like not okay to say and you should hold people accountable yes but when i was in high school in middle school we were still saying that's so gay that's retarded i wouldn't be caught dead saying these things now because i realize how offensive they are and i feel like the way justin was talking about britney it's not like like yes it was messed up but a lot of it, I feel like, like listening to that like radio host, I was more mad at the radio host. Yes, Justin Timberlake was like going along with it, 
But he's like, you got in her pants, right? You got into her pants. Oh and God. Justin Timberlake's like, ooh. The, like, mm -hmm. It's honestly crazy listening to the language that people use, like listening Around to interviews. Girl. Yeah. It that makes me want to throw up. I but hate like, it so much. Like the fact that that radio host thought it was okay to talk about a woman like that, like that was just like normal back then, which is so messed up. And I'm oh glad God. that we've grown since then. Yeah. It's so hard to listen to. So hard to listen to. This it's, is so unrelated, but I was watching Austin Powers because I've never seen it. And it's like one of Colin's favorite movies. Hmm. And even watching Austin Powers, I was like, this makes me want to die. Mm -hmm. Like he's like trying to get in that girl's pants the whole time. And he's like, oh, like want to sh f And it, I just hate it so much. I'm like, leave her alone. L just leave her alone. So yeah, watching the Britney, that's what I thought about the whole, and they're so concerned about her virginity and like saying she's yeah. so like um, over sexual. Like, I guess, yeah, that would be pretty shocking back in the nineties to like see her in like bra tops and stuff. Yeah, I, just, no one should have put her in that. She's 17, that's child porn. Yeah, right. She shouldn't have worn a bra and panties on the Rolling Stone. B, it's not anyone's business what your virginity is. Like, yeah, we, that is such like a Christian it, male, patriarch view of things like you better be a virgin so i can oh fuck you like <laughs> like what like, what is that like it's none of like anyone's concern you're not gonna bang britney spears and even if you were doesn't matter if she's a virgin or if she's banged one million guys yeah they're so There's concerned, no concerned with to you. sexuality like, and stuff like that it's so weird i agree i, I cannot it gives me the heebie jeebies yeah i like to chills i'm like oh like why did you care i don't know yeah i saw and the TikTok. questions that they would ask her i'm like oh, Stop asking Dude, her that. I I was like, uh, go, go, go on Britney, because I would have like taken the camera. I know, right? She's just sitting there like this. Well, she's I... She's like, I'm gonna fucking... Yeah. Get my the shit that she went through is just like crazy. Dude, I saw this TikTok. This is kind of like random, but this girl was like, oh, I wonder if I saved it, or did I send it to you where the girl was like, um, you know the song was like, did it, did it, did it, me too. Yeah. Did it, me too. So it's like, I like when girls wear school girl outfits, or she put a text like, I like when girls wear school girl outfits. Oh, it's a pedophile. And it goes, pedophiles, me too. I've seen a couple I like of when those. girls like are completely naked from the neck down, or like no hair from the neck down, pedophiles, me too, yeah. and all of this stuff. And I was like, oh my God, like it is so ingrained into our society. I know, right? That we didn't, I didn't even realize it until somebody like pointed it the way. I like baby talk, like, like that's how I was like, oh, like, yeah, like submissive women. Yeah, like it's like, so creepy. so creepy. I know. I agree. The the like no hair thing. I really never even thought about. This is random, but freely used to talk about that. She'd be like, "I have hair because only prepubescent women don't have hair." Yeah. And I, I was never like, thought yeah, about sense. that. Yeah. Like, Literally never. No. I just was like, "Oh yeah, it's gross." But like, why? Yeah. Why? What? It's just strange. <sighs> it I hate that. Not like wearing like if I wear like a school girl outfit ever, I'm gonna be like. Mm. <laughs> I know, right? It's so creepy I when you actually think about yeah, it. Yeah, I forget about the other examples she said, but all of them, I was like, poof, like my mind is blown. I hate that. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, Brittany, I feel so terrible for what she had to go through. Like, we did not do her good. No, I hope she gets out of it. She's like going to be 40 soon, and I hope that... She's not 40 already? She's, she's definitely 40. 39. Oh, she is? Mm -hmm. I thought she was like 45. I don't know if we should talk about the Cecil. I feel like we should save that for the next bang. Okay. How about you guys go on Netflix and watch the Cecil Hodel documentary? It's kind of long. It's kind of drawn out. It was kind of long. I it could have been two episodes. Like, they really... Just fast forward through some of the stuff, but... Yeah. I got scared because Colin is gone and I'm home alone. And so then I couldn't finish it because he left. Yeah. And so I didn't finish the last episode. But if you know what happens, the last episode just kind of talks about people coming to terms with the end, the finding out what actually happened. Mm. Um, yeah. Everyone watch that, and then we can have a little powwow. I literally work at, or I worked at Exchange LA, which is across the street from the Cecil. So really? what I would do, because I knew about the Cecil, because I we were doing I that never, true crime stuff. I had never knew that the Elisa Lam story happened in Los Angeles. I thought it was like in another in London country. or something. Yeah, I no, I didn't even realize. I knew because I was listening to those crime podcasts, and I would um, I, so I work downtown LA, and it is terrifying i almost step in human shit all the time i am right by skid row it is like la is not good downtown there's a lot of problems and but um so the club i work at is two levels because it's actually it's three it's huge so when i would go from like the level one to level two 
um, there's like a staircase with like big windows. And sometimes I would just like stare at the CISA hotel because it's been closed for the past couple of years. But sometimes there were lights on in it. It's like, been closed? I thought they- Since 2017, under construction. Oh, really? They don't have their like- um, Residence? Residence? That's what I don't know because it's been closed since 2017 for construction, but I don't know if they can kick out the people who live there permanently. If anyone knows, let me know. But yeah, I'd be looking because I was like, there's some ghosts over there. <gasps> well, we should wrap this up. It's okay. gonna be long. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Let us know what you thought about all the things we talked about. Yeah. We love you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Mukbang Monday out. out.